Hello everybody, in this chapter we are going to cover about the spine and the head and the forward kinematics and also the twist bones and how to apply them in a stretch leg so first of all going in uh, left view create one chain for the hip and then two, three, four, five, four spine and the neck so give them a different color if you want uh, once again we are going to create a stretch bone as uh, we did in the previous chapter for the uh, for the leg okay after you create the uh, stretchy chain as uh, we did it before we are going to create the controller and then link to them so the first one the main controller and then all the other for uh, spine, neck and head oops, too much, too many be sure you always create and uh, align all of them to the, to the correct bones And once you create all the controller, we are going to link them. So this one to this, this one to this. Oh, sorry, this one to this to the helper, and so on. It's basically a normal FK cha chain. Actually, as animator, I always prefer FK spine. So we don't have any uh, we have more uh, freedom about animation about overlapping and everything actually this will link to this this to this and this to this so let's see okay so we are going to have the main controller this for the hip this one and uh, this is eventually if you want to stretch the head you know and by the way you can set up the also the squash stretch if you want just go in here bone tools uh, object options and here set to squash so in this case you will have a nice squash a stretch effect but it we don't want it right now and uh, as usual uh, one other thing of course and if you want to link this to to this so the hip is going to move also the, the leg uh, of course the same as uh, for the leg when you have uh, a stretchy system like this you can uh, adopt the rig to different character with different size without uh, wasting time rebuilding the rig so yes for the spine and the head as I said it's really really simple and easy now about the twisted bones uh, uh, let's hide everything now so basically sometimes for the upper leg or usually for the wrist or for the shoulder you want to have twisted bones to avoid problem about the mesh deformation so it's not hard actually it's pretty easy uh, create a bone and uh, bone tools refine and refine in how many joints you you want doesn't matter the size right now so um, once you've done it with this again create uh, a stretchy chain like before actually when I have a lot of joint like this to to, to that I need to stretch actually I use a script provide from uh, Paul Neal so if you are interested in this script I suggest you to go to www.paulneal.com and buy his DVD because it's the only way to get this script as far as I know 
and so once we have the the chain stretchable we are going to uh, first of all align all of them here Oops. this one maybe is better here and apply an animation constraint position constraint here for this and this one animation constraint position constraint between this and uh, let's scroll down uh, add position target here and we want something like uh, I don't know 80 and 20 so we're going to set up the uh, I don't know if you can see it here 80 for this first bone and 20 okay and so on for all the other uh, bone come back here animation constraint position constraint here and then once again add position here and then maybe this time uh, 60 and 40 and so on until uh, for all the other uh, bone and joint so also this one animation uh, for this constraint position constraint here and so on. oh sorry actually I make a mistake so we don't want position constraint to the lower leg bone but uh, between this bone and this controller so for example here delay the controller animation constraint uh, position constraint here uh, same here uh, delay this uh, uh, lower one uh, oops sorry this one uh, delete it and animation constraint uh, position constraint and uh, once again 80 sorry my my mistake actually oh. once again delete it animation constraint position constraint so okay let's do the same for all of them okay once we have done with all of them as you can see now when I'm going to move the, the controller here also the this other bone is going to stretch because they are aligned by position constraint uh, let me give them a different color so they are more visible and also animation board tools apply the no, not this front one okay very nice so we can see better the rotation and of course they are aligned to to this controller of course if you want you can have the same also for the lower leg which I suggest if you want to have twist bones and now of course we have to apply the, the twist so we can do that with the look at constraint and orientation constraint so for the lower one apply an animation constraint orientation constraint to this bone uh, it doesn't matter if it flips don't uh, don't worry for now just are going to be aligned to the to the same bone here uh, regarding this one we are going to have animation constraint uh, look at constraint and select here and again let's hide the blue line and the for the up node we are going to select the the helper here so you will see now that when I rotate the 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 feet all the other joint rotates but this one not so of course we want right now that all these other rotate uh, rotate always a little bit less until 100 percent so you can easily do that applying an animation orientation constraint between uh, this red one and this uh, let's say uh, other orientation and this other one and we can have uh, uh, I don't know 25 and 75 here 
for this uh, middle one you are going to have the same constraint orientation constraint here and here again add orientation and 50-50 it's enough and then for this other one animation constraint orientation constraint here and orientation and then like once again 25 and 7 5 so now as you can see when we rotate you know this rotate 100% this 75 50 25 and this 0 okay so you can have a nice uh, uh, twist bonds you know uh, when you use twist bonds with the look at constraint just be careful uh, if you move forward and you see the this upper bone flipping like this go here and switch the source axis to Z okay and now the problem should fix should be fixed and of course now you have still the stretch so I think this is really nice setup for uh, for the leg really uh, also complete and if of course this is the same setup for the other leg uh, using the twist bone also for the lower leg and with automatic stretch of course so I hope you enjoy uh, see ya for the next chapter